let me talk to you here about God granting you the desires of your heart. Jesus said it this way in John chapter 15. He said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will. Now, I believe the key there is that you shall ask what you will. It does not say that he'll change your desires. He said he'll grant you the desires of your heart. Now, there's something really important here that a lot of people don't talk about. It says to make your request known unto God. That's in the book of Ephesians, I think, chapter 4. To make your request known unto God with thanksgiving. Well, you make it known unto God, but then you give him praise and thanksgiving because you know it's been heard. And see, in the book of Psalms, it says, when the desire cometh, it's like a tree of life. Listen, Pat and I have had God do some things for us that's astounding. I mean, if I told you about it, your hair would stand up on end. I mean, God's been good to me, but I've gone to God, and I didn't write to all you folks out there writing a pill letter, if you all agree with me. You see, the neat thing is, God's got me on his mind. That's Psalm 112. And he's looking for somebody to show himself strong in their behalf. So today, make your request, that demand, that desire, known unto God, knowing that God wants you to have it, and let him do a miracle for you. Oh my, you talk about fun now. Knowing that God heard that prayer and answered it without pressure. Nobody else. There ain't nothing like that. So until I'm with you tomorrow, you remember all day that Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.